Hi there. Welcome to the Health Analytic Insights Podcast. This podcast is all about creating a community of like-minded individuals who are passionate about the field of health informatics. I hope to share information and advice in topics such as health analytics, digital health, biomedical engineering, and data visualization in healthcare. And in exchange, I would love to hear from you, dear listener, about your experience and interest in this field. You can drop me a line at healthanalyticinsights at gmail.com. And this email, along with any references discussed during this podcast, will be listed in the show notes below. If this resonates with you, don't forget to follow and subscribe to this podcast, as I'll be releasing new episodes bi-weekly. Before we jump into the episode, I want to let you know that I've written a step-by-step guide to help you through the process of securing your first role in health informatics by providing you with concrete examples of what roles to search for, common skills requested by employers, example interview questions, and much more. If this is of interest to you, you can check out the show notes of the episode where I have a link to the ebook below. Now, let's get back into the episode. Dr. Rudra Patel has his background in dentistry and is currently studying towards his master's in health informatics and analytics with an aim to improve the quality of care provided by focusing on clinical decision making and data governance in healthcare. So I'm really excited to have him on the Health Analytic Insights podcast today, and he's going to be able to provide some of his insights from a clinical perspective and how people can jump into the health informatics field. So Rudra, could you start by telling listeners a bit about your background, what got you interested in dentistry, and then eventually how you made that jump? Yes, yeah, sure. First of all, thanks for having me today. And talking about my background, I am a tech enthusiast ever since I can remember actually. And that's what pulled me towards the field of health informatics. I'm big on social work and helping others. And because of that, I did my undergrad in dentistry and served several rural parts of India. And after that, I moved to the States to pursue master's in health informatics at UNC Charlotte, from where I graduated last month. And soon I'll be joining Trex Institute at UNC Chapel Hill as a data solutions developer. Very cool. Very cool. So in India, did you find a lot of clinicians also were interested in tech or did you find yourself kind of mainly the only one who was kind of interested in tech? No, to my knowledge, I was the only one who was uh, more interested towards her towards tech. And as per I know, from my batch, I was, I'm the I and one of my friend is the only one doing health informatics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So why do you think that is? Do you think that maybe it's not really taught that much in school or do you think it's just like personal preference? Uh, yes. Yeah, so this field is quite unheard of in India. But I came to this field during my residence in India, and that's when I did a lot of research. And I came to know that uh, through health informatics, I, mean, I was really impressed uh, by the solutions that can be inferred from the data generated from the hospitals and different sources, and how health informatics professionals use it to improve the health outcomes and improve the access to care to vulnerable populations. That's what interested me. And I think Many people in India are not aware of this, so this is quite unheard of. Yeah, I think it's quite new across um, many different countries to be able to actually apply, you know, technology and healthcare. And I think healthcare is one of those fields that kind of lags a bit behind when it comes to tech. And of course, the main thing is to consider patient safety, right? So you can't do things as rapidly or as quick as other industries. Yeah. So um, what advice would you give to clinicians who are looking to make the jump into the health informatics field. I mean, we can think about the pandemic. So many clinicians are burnt out and are looking for a new uh, job experience and they might still want to stay in healthcare, but just, you know, go at it from a different perspective. So is there any advice you can give to clinicians? Yeah, so I would say that if you are someone who is passionate to learn programming and technical stuff and have a background in healthcare, then health informatics can be a good career choice for you. This way you can churn numbers and data all day long while being in medical field and connected to uh, medicine. And to give a gist, this is a technical field with a hint of medicine in it. And this has a broad spectrum. And I have seen people from diverse background joining health informatics and are really successful in their career. So this is a good field to dive into. Yeah, absolutely. I think as you're saying, like it, it's, it's, it's still a hint of healthcare. So 
you still have that experience that you're still helping the patient. You might not be face to face, but you still have some impact. Yes. So I think that it, it's it's a good opportunity for clinicians. And how have you lo- used your own clinical experience to kind of leverage your role in informatics and kind of use your clinical background to figure out where you would eventually specialize a bit more into health informatics specifically? So in general, health informatics, means I would say that uh, I did not use uh, much of my practical experience, but rather I can say that someone who is willing to join health informatics can leverage their theoretical knowledge about medical field and medical terminologies. The in-depth knowledge of various diseases and treatment plans can be really beneficial. To give you an example, I was recently working on a psoriasis research project using an EHR data. And in brief, psoriasis is a skin disease. And since I was already familiar with its triggers, symptoms, treatment plan from my previous experience, it became quite easy for me to do the analysis and present the results to my stakeholders in an effective manner. So what I'm trying to say here is the past experience and knowledge about medical field is greatly helping me in this field, in the field of informatics to be a notch ahead. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And I, and I like what you said about how like the, having your prior experience also helped you to communicate this to stakeholders. So I think that's another huge part about health informatics that's not really talked about. You'll have to do a lot of presenting and explaining yeah. you know, technical concepts to a non-technical audience who's most likely clinical. So being yeah. able to ha- be, you know, have that experience in both fields is, is really, really helpful when you're trying to translate that information. Yes, it's tr- truly beneficial to have a blend of both fields. It really helps to strive in this field. Yeah. And so you're yeah. doing your master's in health informatics and analytics. What has been your experience with the program? Have you had courses that have really stuck out in your mind? Can you talk a bit more about your, your degree program and uh, the process of it? Yeah, sure. So I, as I mentioned, I did my uh, master's in health informatics from UNC Charlotte. And I would say that this degree program is quite engaging and is it is specially structured to, to be familiar with health data, how we can utilize various programming tools like R, Python, SQL, as well as visualization tools like Tableau or Power BI and apply, apply the knowledge of that to perform analysis and to bring, deliver insights. And the courses which I particularly like stuck in my mind are healthcare data analysis, where, where there was application of SAS, also business intelligence in healthcare, where we learned about applying, uh, applying, re- applying solutions to real world health business problems. And also there was a Capstone project where we have to deal with a client which was Premier, uh, located in Charlotte, North Carolina. And we collaborated with them and wrote a research paper, which recently published in Healthcare Journal. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's awesome. And, you know, sometimes when you go to school, like you're not really, you don't really get exposed to the most up-to-date programs. But in your class, you're doing SQL, you're doing Python, SAS. These are all tools that are, you know, yeah. used right in health informatics. So that's really awesome that you had that experience. You provided some really um, great insights for people to, use. And as we wrap up the interview, one of the last questions I had is, can you kind of describe your dream role in health informatics? What technical skills or clinical skills would you be using on a day-to-day basis? Yeah, sure. So I would describe my dream job where I can work with data, learn programming and help make a difference in the medical field. I know it's, it's kind of cliche, but that's what I personally like to do. And I did not know anything about programming languages until four years ago. And now how I love what I do. I code, I convert the Excel sheets filled with numbers into meaningful data and help device algorithms to build predictive models for various diseases. Machine learning and artificial intelligence is the future of medicine and skills in this field would be immensely beneficial to excel in health informatics. To name some, programming or uh, technical skills in R, Python, SQL, SAS, and Tableau would go a long way. And uh, you talked a bit about AI and, and machine learning. Is there any really applications of AI and machine learning that you're excited to see? I know there's like chatbots that can kind of 
answer frequently asked questions and kind of take that burden off of healthcare administrators? There's, you know, predictive analytics. Is there any use cases that you're particularly excited about when it comes to AI and machine learning? Yes. So I'm particularly uh, excited about natural language processing and how we can transform the transform languages from one from one language to another. Mm-hmm. And that's that's uh, that is really helpful in medicine nowadays. And I'm really excited about that. So thank you so much, Rudra. I really appreciate you taking the time to provide you know this valuable advice, especially for clinicians who are looking to make the jump. And wishing you all the best. Yeah. Well, thank you for having me today. It was great to share my experience with you, and I really hope this was helpful for the next batches enrolling in health informatics. And at last, I would say that health informatics might seem like something new or fairly unheard of, but I would like to share a quote, which I particularly live by, which is life is about taking chances, trying new things, having fun, making mistakes and learning from it. Thank you for listening to the Health Analytic Insights podcast. I'd love to hear from you about topics I should cover in future episodes. Please consider subscribing and leaving a review. Have a wonderful day.